Hello, I'm Dr. Jane Matthews from the Cat Doctor Veterinary Hospital and Hotel in Boise, Idaho. Today I'll be answering some questions about cat health from questions posted on the Pets Best Insurance Facebook page. I've got several questions here about hyperthyroidism in kitties. The first one is from Marissa and she says, my cat is 12 years old and was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. She got very lethargic from the antithyroid medication even on a very low dose so we stopped it. She does not like her YD thyroid food and if she does eat it she vomits. Are there any other options? Sharon also has had some similar problems with her kitty as far as not being able to medicate her cat because her cat fights her too much and her kitty won't eat that special diet either. And then finally Sarah also has a kitty that just was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism and her veterinarian is giving her an option between giving the cat antithyroid medication or radiation therapy. So first of all, let's talk about hyperthyroidism in cats in general. This is a very common endocrine disease in our senior kitties. 97% of these kitties that have hyperthyroidism, um, we see it caused by a benign, which means it's a non-cancerous tumor in the thyroid gland. This tumor increases the cat's metabolism that kicks the kitty's body into high gear and that puts a lot of stress on all the cat's body organs. Usually what we see is a cat that's wasting away. The kitty will have an increased appetite, but despite that, the kitty will still be losing weight. Sometimes that increase in the appetite is even described as what people call voracious, meaning the cats are begging for food, they're stealing food off the tables or the counters, and they're just eating everything they can find, but they're still losing weight. So that's kind of the, the main symptom that we see. Other signs can include vomiting, occasionally some agitation, restlessness, or aggressive type behavior. Um, oftentimes these kitties will get heart problems including heart um, murmurs and sometimes we'll see kidney problems along with it too. If hyperthyroidism is not treated eventually it's fatal. It will kill the kitty cat.